Hi friends, hope you are fine. In this video, let me share an easy way of remembering enzymes in a pathway. Let's take glycolysis as an example. The key point is understand the reaction. Let's take this glycolysis as an example. Point number one, whenever there is phosphorylation or dephosphorylation, that means ATP or ADP is formed. ATP is formed by the addition of phosphate, that is phosphorylation, whereas ADP is formed by dephosphorylation or removal of phosphate. The enzyme is kinase. So this is a glycolytic pathway. So let us see the reaction where ATP or ADP is formed. Step number one, glucose becomes glucose 6-phosphate. As you see, the enzyme is kinase. Here, dephosphorylation happened that phosphate is added to the product forming glucose 6-phosphate. So prefix the name of the substrate. Here, glucose is a hexose, a 6-carbon monosaccharide, therefore called as hexokinase. Then here also, fructose 6-phosphate becomes fructose 1,6-biphosphate. A phosphate is added, ATP becomes ADP. Here also, the enzyme is kinase. Just prefix the substrate name phosphofructokinase or PFK. Third step is this one, 1,3-biphosphoglycerate becomes 3-phosphoglycerate. Here, ADP is phosphorylated to form ATP. Here a phosphate is removed from the substrate and added to ADP forming ATP. It's a phosphorylation reaction. Here also the enzyme is kinase. Just prefix the substrate name phosphoglycerokinase. Let me conclude point number one. In any pathway or any reaction, whenever there is phosphorylation or dephosphorylation, the enzyme is kinase. Point number two. Whenever there is a reduction, formation of NADH, the enzyme is dehydrogenase. Here, as you can see, in this step, glyceraldehyde 3-phosphate becomes 1,3-biphosphoglyceric acid or glycerate. Here, NADH is formed. Therefore, the enzyme is dehydrogenase. Here, the enzyme is called glyceraldehyde 3-phosphate dehydrogenase, just prefixing the name of the substrate. So whenever there is a reduction reaction where NADH is involved, the enzyme is dehydrogenase. Point number three is there are many isomerization reaction. Then the enzyme is isomerase. Here as you see in the second step, this glucose 6-phosphate becomes fructose 6-phosphate. This glucose and fructose are isomers. Therefore, enzyme is isomerase. Phosphoglucoisomerase, adding the substrate name. Then the next reaction is dihydroxyacetone phosphate formed becomes glyceraldehyde 3-phosphate. Both are three carbon compound and are isomers. Therefore, the enzyme is isomerase. It is called as triose phosphate isomerase as both these compounds are three carbon compounds. That's why called as triose. Then the other reaction that is this fructose 1,6-biphosphate that splits to form two three carbon compound dihydroxyacetone phosphate and glyceraldehyde 3-phosphate. Here glyceraldehyde 3-phosphate is formed and aldehyde is formed, therefore enzyme is aldolase. Then this reaction, 3-phosphoglycerate becomes 2-phosphoglycerate, just changing the position of phosphate, a slight change in the position of this phosphate group, therefore the enzyme is mutase, phosphoglycerate mutase. And finally, this 2-phosphoglycerate becomes phosphoenol pyruvate. Enol is formed. Therefore, enzyme is enolase. So let me conclude. For understanding enzymes in a metabolic pathway, the most important thing and the easiest method is to understand the reaction. And this is applicable to all pathways. Hope you are benefited from this video. Stay blessed. Take care. Thank you so much. You are with biologyexamsforyou.com.